transform your body with SA's most trusted fat burner. USN FedraCut XT, clinically proven ingredients for rapid fat loss. USN, it's all about results. Crave major league muscles? USN ambassador and personal trainer Warren Harmershazen believes knowledge is power when it comes to fitness and training. Nice, Warren. So today we're talking about building some muscle for guys because I think muscle is something that every guy out there wants. So what's the best way of going about getting that muscle? Well, you know, obviously it's going to be with weight training. Uh, what you need to understand is while you're training, your muscle gets an extreme pump with blood that's going into the muscle group while you're training. And that's what's going to be crucial for you to actually be able to build the muscle. So you're going to put overload onto the muscle. The muscle fibers are going to tear, but you need the pump to force blood into the area. And that's when nutrients come in. So you want to get the, the, the right amounts of foods into your body. You want to get the right amounts of supplements into your body. Those are the things that are going to make your muscles grow. So what should your training look like if you want to build that extra muscle? Look, recovery is going to be the most important thing. So the more you can recover a muscle, the more it's going to be able to grow. So training a muscle group once a week, you know, making sure that you're resting it for seven days and getting enough nutrients into the muscle. Mm. And at what intensity should your workouts be? I think the intensity I normally train is going to be probably 75% of my max. So if I can press out X amount for one or two reps, make sure that I can press out 10 with an X amount of weight. So like I said, close to 70% is what I'd say. Now I've been in the fitness industry for quite a while as well and I've heard a lot of misconceptions as to how muscle actually grows. So take us through that process. How does it work? Because when it comes to growing the muscle, you want to make sure that the muscle is getting enough nutrients in. And those nutrients are going to be anything from drop branch to amino acids, proteins, L-glutamine, and certain forms of energy sources like creatine. Your body needs creatine to train. So whether you're the biggest guy in the gym or you're not the biggest guy in the gym, the muscle's not going to train as hard without creatine. So it's all those type of nutrients that is going to be a factor of how the muscle is going to grow. Now I know a lot of guys out there is also confused about the fact whether they should eat before training or not. What do you say? I'm not really an advocate of eating too soon put to a session, eat about an hour before I train and then I go and do my session. By that time I've digested most of my foods. So we spoke about the fact whether you should eat or not eat before a workout, but I know Gareth is standing by and he's a big fan of pre-workout supplementation. So let's go have a chat with him. Yes. Great. Now Gareth, myself and Warren have been talking about whether you should or should not eat before a workout. Now, I know you're a big fan of pre-workout supplementation, so what should you take and when should you take it? I'm not particularly a fan of eating before training sessions. I believe that if you have a high metabolic rate and you do require extra calories, rather select from a highly available pre-digested protein like the Hardcore Way GH. This will make sure that you remain anabolic in the beginning of your workout, but that you don't overfeed the system and you don't divert blood flow from the gut where it will be digesting food to the muscle mass or vice versa. You want that blood flow in the muscle mass to create the pump to make sure you supply enough oxygen and nutrients into the muscle tissue during your workout. Uh, in terms of pre-workouts, I believe they are highly beneficial to anybody's weight gain or muscle gain training plans. They're going to pr prime your system to ensure that you are ready to train the high intensity. You know, you're going to improve your strength and power. You're going to increase nitric oxide production so that you can get the vasodilation you're looking for to increase the muscle pump. That way, the more muscle tissue is more functional. You're basically recruiting dormant muscle fiber into activating so that you have more strength, more power, and you can train at a higher intensity for a longer period of time, effectively creating more muscle damage. And then your post-workout shake, which would be, again, the hardcore way GH, will ensure that you get adequate muscle tissue recovery and you can support the growth throughout your training phase. And what about the Anabolic Nitro X? When should you take that? Anabolic Nitro X is a pre-workout supplement. It should be taken between 45 minutes and half an hour before your training session, wherever you feel comfortable. It activates your system so that you can train at a high intensity for a longer period of time, exert more energy, activate dormant muscle fibers so that you can train with more strength and power. Now Warren, what pre-workout supplementation do you enjoy? Well, anabolic nitrates to me is a very good pre-workout. It's got your caffeine and vasodilators, which helps you get a pump while you're training. But then also like taking creatine about 45 minutes before I train. I feel it really works for me. It really fills me through my workout. Your body and your muscles work on creatine phosphate stores to actually produce energy and ATP. So I always supplement with creatine before I work out. Now another product you have here is 17 Testomethox. Now what exactly is that and how can it help you gain that extra bit of muscle? 17 Testomethox is a firm favorite for any weight training male looking to pack on lean mass. As a functional product, it increases your natural testosterone production. And testosterone is a primary anabolic hormone. It's required to maintain and grow lean muscle tissue. It also makes sure that the food in terms of the protein value that you consume is actually laid down on the damaged muscle fiber so that you can experience more growth. Uh, it does also improve your strength and power and your endurance capacity in training sessions. So you'll, you'll have a multiple benefit from it. Not only will you train better at a higher intensity, but you'll also recover faster. 
Well, guys, thank you so much. Warren, lastly from you, advice to guys stepping into the gym for the first time, wanting to build some muscle. How should they approach the training? Well, I think, you know, getting your program right and making sure that you're training effectively to make sure, once again, tearing the muscle properly. Um, you know, look at yourself in the mirror. Say, these are the muscle groups that I have to work on. You know, look at where your weaknesses are. You know, focus on that and build those. But your foundation is going to be nutrition, you know. So, you know, it doesn't matter how hard that session is. If you're not fueling it and making sure that you're getting the nutrients in to actually recover and to get you to the next session and some training hard, you're not really going to get results that well. Well, guys, thank you so, so much for the advice. Really appreciate it. Feeling lucky? To find out how you can win one of six iPad 3s, visit usn.coza. Competition closes on the 30th of July. That's usn.co.za. Transform your body with SA's most trusted fat burner. USN FedraCut XT, clinically proven ingredients for rapid fat loss. USN, it's all about results. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.